Hi folks, my name is Vladimir and in today's video tutorials I'm going to show you how to work with pin connection and here is some examples so in our final result will be that if you would like to create some bicycle and for example some back wheel so we need to define some mechanism options or connections so I'd like to start from scratch and you will see what is necessary to do and what is necessary to prepare for this type of assembly connection. So the first assembly what we need to create it will be some back wheel so we need to specify that we would like to create the assembly and the first component what we would like to add over there will be base model. So I've prepared for me some base model and this base model is necessary to use directly as subassembly. So we can directly use the default orientation and system will connect the object directly in the middle of the assembly. The second object what is necessary to do and apply is tire. So again you can select surface to surface or if you specify the with same orientation and same dimension you can use the default and system automatically create correct static assembly for me. So this is the first assembly. What we have it's a standard assembly. Yeah so back wheel is ready. What we need to do is to create the the arm. So again I will create new assembly it will be arm for example B arm like back arm and first component in this assembly will be my prepared model and will be arm yeah this this object again can be placed directly surface to surface or datum plane to datum plane yes yeah? so you can place it how you want if you would like to directly connect coordinate system to coordinate system you can use again default connection it's fully connected yeah you can see here that I placed directly with default orientation if you would like to see more information over here in model tree you can select the three filters here and for example you would like to see the feature placement order or another information this option is possible possible to save and reuse it for every session of the Creo. Okay, what next? This is a static object. Yeah, place it as, as a default orientation, and then we would like to use our wheel. I have my wheel directly in the session, so the assembly, what is necessary to place, you can use the drop down menu here and found necessary subassembly. So my back wheel is here. You can use the preview window. You can have a look if it is your assembly, what you want. Yeah, I like it. So I will choose it with double click. And now here is the question how to place and orient these objects. You can see here that I don't want to use the standard placement, distance, coincident and so on but I'd like to use the mechanism constraints and for example pin connection this example is pin connection because we would like to spin the model yeah around the axis and don't move through the axis how I know what is necessary to select in the placement tab you can see here that it's necessary to select axis alignment you can manipulate with 3D dragger or if you don't want to see the 3D dragger you can switch off this function and then you can use the control alt and right mouse or middle mouse yeah and system will spin and move your model what you would like to connect or if you select only middle button that you will spin whole assembly so it was some example or information how to manipulate with the objects and then what is necessary to do for pin connection is select component so you can select the surface the surface you can choose which surface 
you would like to connect. If you select surface, system will automatically select inside axis or middle axis. And if you select another surface, again, you can see here directly that system allowed to me to spin the model around this axis. I created this model and you can see here that system doesn't care if you have some intersection information. It's up to you. In the analysis, it's possible to calculate global interference and system show you if it is everything OK or no. So follow these steps. And what is necessary to do, to do? We need to place this object directly in the middle. So you can use two possibilities. Over here, you can select objects, information directly and select datum planes, or you can use the analysis and you can calculate the distance. So for example, if you will calculate the distance, I'd like to know this dimensions and distance is this number. Yeah. So you can really easily recognize the numbers and calculate and use your options. Or you can select only translation options here and then you can have a look here. So select the object and assembly information. You can see here that system will reuse the coincident. You can use the distance and you can set up your dimensions. So set up your necessary information and then you know what, what is the correct distance for you. So you can see here that my pin connection is ready. And one more time, what I select, only I selected two axis alignment, it means cylindrical surfaces, and then set the transla translation. If I will finish, you can see here that right now the system will create for me or created for me the mechanism constraints. I can see this small icon here, square with the dot. It means that is a mechanism. And if I use the dragger, drag component, and if I will select any object, you can see here that right now, if it is pin connection, I can only spin the model yeah, around the axis. It is not possible to move to left to right. If you would like to spin and move left to right, you need to use only cylindrical connection. I will show you later in another example. OK, so it was the first example how to use the pin connection. Here is a question from you that if it is possible to set up the friction directly for pin connection. So yes, it is possible. If you select Edit Definition, you can see here in Placement tab that it's a, some another option and one option is rotation axis. What does it mean? I will show you later. Give me five minutes and you will see what does it mean. But over here is small information set up dynamic properties. And over here you can set up friction and all information from the friction. Yeah. So you will specify the necessary dimensions here or information or you can set up coefficient of restitution. All information about the friction and what numbers is necessary to set, set up or how you can set up, you can find on the YouTube channel, directly find my name and you can see here that I've created for you a long time ago, Creo tutorial, how to apply lift up and friction with PTC, Creo PTC mechanism dynamics. Over here is the small information, how to use the friction and what is necessary and how to understand the frictions. Yes, so you can see here and I use in this video tutorials some correct numbers and some examples. So it was information how to set up dynamic and enable frictions for pin connection. OK, we need to go back. I have uh, some small sub-assembly 
B arm. And what is necessary to do? We would like to create a base assembly of the bike. So we would like to create a new assembly. The name will be bike 4K, for example, yes. So it would mean my bike. And I will add some frame. Yep, yeah, this frame look good. And again, you need to place this object directly in the assembly. So you can select surface to surface or datum planes to datum planes, or you can again use the coordinate system and apply default orientations. So yes, I like this orientation very much. And what is necessary to do and apply is add from the session my assembly. So I would like to add my B arm assembly. Yep. And you can see here that right now we would like to move and place this assembly directly here. We will continue with pin connection and it will be really easy right now for you that you, if you select the pin connection and what is necessary to do and select is two cylindrical surfaces. So select surface to surface. The system will apply the correct rotation of the model. Then in placement tab, you can see here that it is necessary align two surfaces. So you can select that surface and that surface and set up, for example, a couple of millimeters that you would like to go inside or outside, or you can select datum planes. Yep. Yeah, and specify datum planes. What is necessary to do if you select first information from the 3D model, then the second information for translation has to be selected for 3D, 3D model, not for assembly. So you don't, you, you can't use the assembly connection and model connection or some combination. Has to be model to model and assembly to assembly. Don't mix the necessary surfaces, datum planes and so on, because you will have a problem. So in this example, you can see here that my source assembly doesn't include the datum planes and is if I will select these datum planes from the assembly and these datum planes from the sub assembly, it will be not works correctly. So go back and what I need to do is create for me for the frame. I will activate the assembly and for the activated assembly, I will create middle middle datum plane. Yeah, so we will create the first datum plane between two surfaces. Yeah. And you can see here that I would like to create a middle plane. Yeah, middle plane is fine. It's allowed to me. And in model tree, I can see, whoop, nope, it's not possible. So in the tree filter, I'd like to see the features. And this datum plane eight is the middle plane. And now we can continue and do it one more time. Control A, activate assembly and assembly the sub assembly like a P arm. And now I'd like to select surface from this objects and surface over here. And then what I need to or I need to select is datum planes directly from the objects and the datum planes for the sub assembly. Oops. You can see here that I forgot to change the information that I'd like to use the mechanism constraints. Oops, is not problem. You can always use the allow assumption and system allow to you transform the information to mechanism. And what the system create for you? automatically change the selected information as a pin connection, axis element and translation. I don't want to use the translation with distance. I'd like to use the coincident. So you have seen that if you create standard 
connection, you can always move and trans transform it to pin connection. What is necessary to do? Select correct placement, axis alignment and translation. Yeah. You can see here that if I will finish and I like to move with my assembly, with track components, you can see that it's okay. I can move how I need. But what is the problem? We have some maximum or minimum, yeah? Because your wheel doesn't go in the full way. You can set up some maximum and minimum. How to do it? Select some assembly, edit definition, and in the placement tab, you can use the rotation axis. And what the system asks for you, select the surface, some surface, yeah? So I can select the datum planes or surface from the subassembly. And then again, I will select datum planes for the 3D model. The system will count for me the angle and I can set up, for example, this angle is maximum for me or what I want like the set. So I will select that this is okay for me. Yeah, so give me a second. I will set up some angle here. For example, this one. And I will set that this one is the zero. And maximum, I will move here. My maximum angle is 45. Yeah, for example. So you can enable regeneration value. You can set up minimum, that is the my zero. And maximum is, for example, 60. If you will finish, the system will jump to regeneration value. My regeneration value is zero. And then you can move maximum, yeah, maximum minimum between these two dimensions. If I will regenerate, control G, the system will jump to zero value. If you would like to change the regeneration value, go to edit definition, go to placement and rotation axis, set some angle and set as regeneration value here. Okay, 26 is my regeneration value. If I will move it again, I can see that is the possible between minimum and maximum and regenerate to 26. So in this example, you have seen how it is possible to create the pin connection. So you can add any, any objects into assembly and yeah, you can choose directly from here to pin connection and select the axis alignment and translation, or you can jump to standard constraints yeah, from standard constraints. And if you allow assumption, the system allowed to you to jump to pin connection automatically. Thanks for your time. I hope so that this example was really useful for you. And what will be next? We'll see. Stay in touch. Vladimir. Bye-bye.